Today I'm going to be revisiting two of my favourite knives uh, with X-Duct. Okay guys, so today I'm going to take a look at a couple of my favourite blades. The uh, San Renmu 910LAND. Very nice indeed, I like this one a lot actually. And also, uh, one of the first San Renmus I bought, which is this GB4 913P. This is a great bit of kit and I do like this one, the style is fantastic. I shall also be telling you later on how you can save a little bit of money on these two knives by purchasing them from... Now then, you may also notice that my video or videos from this weekend are slightly different. Uh, that's because my brand spanking new computer that I set up uh, this week for this weekend's filming uh, decided it was going to die when I came home yesterday on Friday so I'm uh, working this uh, review on my old laptop so I hope you uh, still enjoy the review guys this 913P was uh, one of the first San Renmu knives I purchased and I think you can see why I uh, decided to buy it guys uh, just check the style absolutely wonderful you've got this very nice uh, sheep's foot style blade here it's got a um, swedge just here on the top of the blade on both sides we have a um, plain edge just here uh, and a very nicely uh, done serrations here guys which is very nice indeed uh, we have thumb studs and we have a nice G10 scales here machined out very nicely for your fingers as you can see, um, on both sides, you can actually uh, move the pocket clip from this side, which is like right hand carry tip down. You can move it over to the other side, so you can carry um, left hand tip down as well. Uh, we have a little um, lanyard hole here. Um, I wonder if we can get paracord in there. Right, here's me paracord then. See if we can get some paracord through. Let's close the blade at first so we don't go chopping ourselves to pieces. Let's have a look. Um, you can get it through there, guys. Just about. Yep. Okay, so you can get yourself a nice little uh, uh, paracord lanyard on there too. So that's good. Pop that over there for a second. Uh, it's very easy to deploy the blade with the thumb studs on either side. Let's give it a go left-handed guys. I don't often do that. Um, don't often do it left-handed. Let's have a look. Yep, cool. Obviously you, you, the only way you can unlock it is uh, there's no left-hand unlocking going on. Just right and left-hand thumb studs. We have a very nice black finish on the blade too. I have to say I think this uh, knife is all kinds of cool to be honest with you guys. You've got very nice blade design here, as I say the sheep's foot uh, we have some cool serrations going on too very nice G10 scales here what's the centering like? the centering is very good as you can see I haven't touched this knife at all, I don't adjust them nor do I sharpen them, I simply uh, bring them along to you as I get them from the manufacturer you know, when I purchase them Okay, so here is my new chopping board. Get some cheapo rope on the go. Just roll the belly through that. You can see how sharp it is, guys. Very nice indeed. Bit of cardboard here. Yep, slice that up nicely too. I'd just like to thank my good friend Trader Joe for sending in this uh, mule tape here. Mule the tapeworm, as I call it. Uh, this stuff is uh, rather interesting to cut. If the blade isn't that sharp, it doesn't want to know about it, guys. Just roll the belly through it. It's simple as that. No trouble at all. What about the serrations, then? Let's give them a go. On to the serrations. Blimey, yeah. Straight through it. That's really good. Yes, I really do like the uh, 913P, and I only wish I could carry it, but uh, we're not allowed to carry locking knives here in the UK for whatever reason. We've also got some nice jimping 
at the top of the uh, blade and handle here so you've got some nice grip it's a very nice grip actually we get a lot of traction there guys I like that okay so that's the 913 what about the uh, 910 LEND Wow love the blade design I think it's actually um, a bit of a copy of something else um, can't think of what it is I'm sure you guys will let me know down in the comments again we have a pocket clip you can actually uh, move it across to the other side as well look if you've got a spare screw here too guys we've got some very nice well my favorite anyway my favorite green g10 i've got quite a few knives uh, in green because I, I do like <laughs> green it's one of my favorite colors actually guys funnily enough nice bit of g10 going on here uh, liners stainless steel liners exactly the same with the uh, 913 as well, that's got uh, stainless steel liners, they're just blacked out, the same as the blade. Uh, the liners on this, this one especially, this side here, is actually uh, skeletonized as well guys. So, And we have some jimping on the top of the blade here. Yes, you can get traction on that, it's quite, uh, quite nice. What I, the other thing I like about it is the blue highlights. You've got like blue thumb studs, little blue thumb studs, and a little blue... Um, pipe going through here which looks like the uh, standoffs in here little blue standoff stroke pipe um, what happened to my um, where's that gone to here it is I got it I got it guys here we are I chucked it over there the uh, paracord let's put the blade away so we don't cut ourselves again will the paracord go through the hole here can you make yourself a very nice paracord lanyard let's have a look Oh, if I can get out of it, that is. It's a bit of a fiddle. Here it comes. Right, so yeah. If you like a paracord lanyard on your knife, you can do it with this baby. Very nice too. Right, let's get it over there again. So, very nice indeed. I love the uh, the whole overall design of the knife. And you've got this nice LAND logo here. And the model number, 910 Plus. And this one's actually made from uh, 12... C27 stainless steel on the blade guys blade guys so that's a really good steel on there very nice steel indeed beautifully designed I love it uh, nice nice flat grind here beautiful okay so what is it like on the chopping block well cheapo rope just roll the belly through it look at that effortless guys absolutely effortless okay cardboard Just draw straight through the cardboard. It's not a bother at all. What about uh, and some mule tape here? Roll the belly through that. Not bad at all. Nice clean cut there. Not a bad little blade then, really, guys. Very nice and sharp. Now, I did mention earlier on that I was going to... Uh, tell you how you can save a little bit of money on these two knives well I have teamed up with X duct or EX duct whichever way you pronounce it I'm not sure to bring you this review guys um, if you've purchased from EX or X duct before you'll know the company uh, I think it's another Chinese company actually guys but if you uh, want either of these knives or most likely anything else off their site uh, pop it into your trolley like this one here for instance the uh, 913p pop it into your trolley go along to the checkout and in the uh, coupon discount area there just put in NAS50FF so that is NAS50FF and that will get you a very nice 5% off whatever you purchase guys thank you very much for that you'll also be supporting my channel by doing so okay then guys so here we have two of my favorite San Renmu blades I mean I think just about any San Renmu knife you could throw my way is going to be my favorite San Renmu uh, I've got a, quite a few more in the pipeline um, waiting for review um, just keep an eye on the channel guys they'll be popping up shortly um, don't forget that you can subscribe to my channel uh, don't forget to click a like if you enjoyed the review and share it with your friends and also on your social media too. You can also find me on Instagram 
and you can support my channel at Patreon too. Don't forget to head over to xduct.com as well. Uh, links are in the descriptive text below. Just click on that link, go along, see what you think of the company. And don't forget if you buy anything, like other of these two knives, you can use my special discount code at the checkout and get yourself a nice 5% off, guys. Alrighty then, so uh, please let me know what you think of these knives. Uh, I do apologise if the review is slightly different. As I say, it's because my... Uh, brand new computer decided it wasn't going to work yesterday so I've had to contact the company and uh, hopefully we'll get it fixed so I can get back to uh, you know my usual uh, editing software okay guys well thanks for coming over once again and taking a look at these two brilliant knives two of my favorite knives actually guys uh, don't forget to check out my friends at EX duct or X duct I'm not sure what it's called and basically I will see you here again at Rathban Man Manor in the very near future then. Laters! Oh.